हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू गुड आफ्टरनून हाउ आर यू गाइस डूइंग आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन इंडियाज मोस्ट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन ऐप दैट इज गाइस बाय चूज एग्जाम प्रेप सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट लेट मी नो दैट इज ऑडियो वीडियो क्लियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइस प्लीज क्विकली लेट मी नो दैट इज ऑडियो वीडियो क्लियर प्लीज क्विकली लेट मी नो दैट इज ऑडियो वीडियो क्लियर गाइस is audio video clear today we will be learning about basically declination and in fact about teaching the declination i'll be telling you how to solve the problems of declination basically without even using calculators and in very less time and guys basically from today from today i'm taking one more initiative that we'll be not only teaching you over here basically we'll be also giving you questions in the homework and i have such su something surprise for you i have something surprise for you but before that please let me know that is audio video clear everyone please quickly let me know that is audio video clear so guys shall we start the session shall we start the session so guys today we are going to discuss the declination topic from compass which is very important from gate perspective very very important from gate perspective right so guys let me introduce you myself basically this is my brief profile and basically this is myself so guys i am ankit sharma i am ankit sharma and guys basically basically i am an ex ias officer who is having more than 12 years of teaching experience who's having more than 12 years of teaching experience clear further guys this is our schedule of the future this is our schedule of the future basically this is not the only schedule there is a to be continued written over here there is a to be continued written over here agreed so basically today is this session 22nd of october compass declination i'm taking you can take the screenshot of it you can take the screenshot of it right F thereafter further basically i will be coming again day after tomorrow on 24th of october with the topic of rise and fall under the chapter of leveling thereafter again i'll be coming on 26th of october how to calculate the number of photographs guys just for your information basically there is a new addition like couple of years back basically the syllabus was revised and photogrammetry is introduced photogrammetry is introduced in this syllabus of gate so basically i'll be taking session on that i'll be taking session on that right and thereafter after my session krishna sir will join you krishna sir will join you for the subject of structure analysis he'll be teaching on 28th 30th and 1st of november ild truss and displacement method this is our schedule this is our schedule right further now what is on the table for you what is on the table for you today basically we'll be discussing the concept of declination right we'll be discussing the concept of declination in that we'll be discussing the definition of declination the classification of declination and certain important points which you are supposed to know certain important points which are which you are supposed to know thereafter we'll be practicing certain objective questions and i'll be giving you a homework question now guys i'll be giving you a homework question that is a very good initiative but where you will have the solution of that question you can post that solution in the comment box or you can get that solution in the telegram group of mine in my telegram group you can get the solution and basically this is my telegram group that is civil by ankit sir you can search on the telegram that is civil by ankit sir and you can get the link of my telegram group is it clear guys so this is something good right i'll be teaching you in the class in this session i'll be teaching you certain topic and we'll be practicing certain question and thereafter thereafter i'll be giving you certain question for the homework and you have to you have to solve that question on yourself and you'll come to know that basically whether you have gathered the concept or not if required if required in the next session i will discuss the very same question which i have solved in the homework for if you want to uh, me to solve that then basically guys you can comment in the comment box i will do the needful i will do the needful agreed clear further next guys this is this is our group of faculties the best faculties of the country available to you guys and guys these are these are our basically online 
ऑनलाइन क्लासरूम प्रोग्राम बैचेस आर गोइंग ऑन राइट विजन गेट 2022 रैंक अप गेट 2022 विजन 2023 दीज आर आवर बैचेस गोइंग ऑन एग्रीड क्लियर एवरीवन फर्दर नाउ आर यू रेडी टू स्टार्ट द सेशन शेल आई स्टार्ट द सेशन गाइस शेल आई स्टार्ट द सेशन प्लीज लेट मी नो शेल आई स्टार्ट द सेशन शेल आई स्टार्ट द सेशन राइट चलिए लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेशन विद द बैंक गाइज विद द बैंक लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेशन सो गाइज वॉट इज डेक्लिनेशन द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज डेक्लिनेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट दैट एवरी प्लेस वेर एवर यू आर स्टैंडिंग लाइक आई एम स्टैंडिंग एट दिस प्लेस राइट आई एम स्टैंडिंग एट दिस प्लेस सो वेर एवर यू आर स्टैंडिंग वी आर स्टैंडिंग एट ए पर्टिकुलर सिग्निफिकेंट पॉइंट ऑन द अर्थ सर्फिस राइट दिस इज ए पर्टिकुलर प्लेस ऑन द अर्थ सर्फिस दिस इज ए पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑन द अर्थ सर्फिस वेर आई एम स्टैंडिंग राइट एग्रीड नाउ एज यू आर अवेयर अबाउट दैट बेसिकली देर इज ए नॉर्थ पोल एंड साउथ पोल ऑन द अर्थ सर्फिस these are geographic points on the earth surface so on the earth surface there are certain places where one place is called as north pole and another place is called as south pole now if i if i draw a line joining the north pole and the south pole if i draw a line joining the north pole and the south pole through this point on the earth surface then that line then that line is called as what then that line is called as true meridian then that line is called as true meridian agreed clear further so this is one of the reference direction with the help of which we can measure the angle between the lines this is one of the reference direction with which or with respect to which we can measure the angles between the lines agreed clear further we have another reference meridian with which we can measure the angle between the lines and that reference meridian is called as magnetic meridian so how the magnetic meridian is defined guys magnetic meridian is defined with the help of a magnetic needle or with the help of a magnetic compass in magnetic compass we have a magnetic needle or with the help of a magnetic bar if i freely suspend a magnetic bar about its cg then this magnetic bar will align itself in certain direction and that will be the direction of magnetic north and magnetic south at that place good afternoon suraj ji good afternoon so that will be the direction of magnetic north and magnetic south at that place right and that is something called as magnetic meridian magnetic meridian now guys for your surprise basically these two reference direction are most commonly used the true meridian and the magnetic meridian these two reference direction are more commonly used but the problem is where the problem is that these two reference direction somebody can use true meridian somebody can use the magnetic meridian right but people generally use magnetic meridian as per their convenience because it is simple to use it is simple to use so people use what magnetic meridian but the point is this magnetic meridian is of fluctuating nature and magnetic meridian generally do not coincides with true meridian it generally do not coincides with true meridian so which of them is of fluctuating nature guys magnetic meridian is of fluctuating nature basically true meridian is of fixed nature that is of fixed nature so basically we observe that there is certain horizontal angle between the magnetic meridian and the true meridian and this horizontal angle between the magnetic meridian and the true meridian at the time of observation is called as declination at the time of observation that is called as declination got this point is it clear guys is it clear what is declination so guys just please see that this is one case this is one case which i am discussing right now we have true north and magnetic dot and the black line the black arrow the black arrow is my true meridian and the red arrow is my magnetic meridian they are coinciding with each other that's a coincidence they are coinciding with each other and that is surprisingly a coincidence so at this place what will be my declination at this instance my declination is basically zero my declination is what zero zero right so when they coincide with each other there is no discrepancy and that is something called as zero declination but the problem is 
But the problem is when they are not coinciding with each other, then what happens? Then that phenomena is called as declination. Then that phenomena is called as declination, guys. Like for example, for example, as you can see over here, as you can see over here, this is my direction of true north. This is my direction of true north and this red one is my direction of magnetic north. Can you observe my magnetic north is on the west side of true north. My magnetic north is on the west side of true north. So this horizontal angle between the true north and the magnetic north at any place or at any time of observation this is called as declination since since my magnetic meridian is inclined towards west side so that's why it is called as westward declination that's why it is called as westward declination is it clear everyone yes or no is it clear right further further let us discuss the another case of this and that's my eastward declination and that's my eastward declination can you observe now magnetic north is on the east side now magnetic north is on the east side and this one is called as basically eastward declination so this is the horizontal angle this is the horizontal angle and this one is called as eastward declination so guys are you clear with the concept of what is zero declination what is eastward declination and what is westward declination now just for your information i will tell you more about it basically this one this westward declination this is also called as negative declination and this declination which is eastward declination is it is also called as positive declination this is just a nomenclature but to remember this i will just give you a mnemonic basically this mnemonic has nothing to do with the concept it is just a mnemonic a way of remembering things it's just a way of remembering things you can remember it like this when the declination is negative when it is negative it, it is uh, sorry when the declination is anti-clockwise when the declination is anti-clockwise it is remembered as negative and when the declination is clockwise it is remembered as positive it is remembered as positive this is a mnemonic to remember it agreed clear everyone clear everyone now let us move to certain other important points the first important point is over here that is mag magnetic declination in the field can be determined by observing the true bearing and the magnetic bearing of the same line like for example for example i have this my direction i am facing towards a direction and let us say the direction in which i am facing that is my true meridian that is my true meridian right and let us say i have some survey line in this direction in this direction i have some survey line so can this be my the angle between the true meridian and the survey line yes this can be my angle between the true meridian and the survey line so this is something called as true bearing of this line and let us say if i suspend a magnetic needle or if i hold a magnetic compass at this place then my magnetic compass or my magnetic needle will align itself in this direction let us assume that it will align itself in this direction so this horizontal angle between the survey line and the magnetic meridian this horizontal angle would be which angle this would be my magnetic bearing right this would be my magnetic bearing so can we observe that basically if true meridian and magnetic meridian are coinciding with each other then the magnetic bearing and true bearing will be same magnetic bearing and the true bearing will be same but when they are not coinciding with each other then the their difference there would be the difference between the true bearing and the magnetic bearing they will not coincide with each other they will not coincide with each other and that difference between this true bearing and the magnetic bearing of a particular line this difference between the true bearing and the magnetic bearing of that particular line is called as declination it's called as declination now let me tell you certain more property about the declination that guys just try to understand that due to various reasons right now it is not the appropriate time to tell you each and every reason behind it but just remember the result and the result is that 
basically there is a property associated with declination that it changes its value changes from place to place at a particular time like basically right now it is quarter past three it is 315 right if you measure declination in delhi or if you measure declination in mumbai hyderabad chennai kolkata like all these places you will not get the same value of declination so at a particular time it varies from place to place further at a place it varies from time to time like today i am measuring declination in delhi and basically and basically if i am measuring declination at the same place in delhi after two years then also the value would be different then also the value would be different so that's why it is told that basically the value of declination changes at a place from time to time and the value of declination changes at a time from place to place from place to place so guys there is a variation in the values of declination there is a variation in the values of declination and this variation in the values of declination is shown with the help of a line or with the help of a concept that is called as isogonic line that is called as isogonic line did you get this is it clear is it clear so did you get this so can you just let me know what would be the shape of isogonic line the shape of isogonic line would be somewhat like rectangular or it should be somewhat like square or it should be like oval ellipse which shape it would be like hyperbolic parabolic or what guys for your information since as i told you basically the declination at a time changes from place to place and declination at a place changes from time to time due to all these variations in the properties of declination basically what is happening the shape of this isogonic line will be irregular now let us also please see what is isogonic line basically isogonic line is the line which is passing through the points on the surface of earth at which declination is same at a given point of time basically it is a line which is passing through the points on the surface of the earth basically which at which the declination is same at a given point of time like for example for example today i have measured the declination in delhi and at the same time i have measured the declination at various places in this country and all those places at which the declination value is same as Delhi, I will join them by a line. I will join them by a line and that is somewhat called as, and that line is somewhat called as isogonic line. That line is somewhat called as isogonic line. So what would be the shape of isogonic line? As I told you before, basically due to lot of variation in this, the shape of isogonic line is what? irregular in nature that is irregular in nature agreed clear now basically there is a special case of isogonic line and that special case is nothing but agonic line so what is agonic line basically these are special types of isogonic lines basically these are special types of isogonic lines or i may tell that at all the points of all the points on agonic line true meridian will be coinciding with magnetic meridian or rather i should say that magnetic meridian should be coinciding with true meridian that would be more appropriate that is the magnetic uh, meridian will be coinciding with true meridian or it means that basically at all the points on isogonic line that value of declination would be what zero the value of declination would be zero let me read this line for you guys basically these are special isogonic lines which pass through points having zero declination or we can say that at all the points on agonic line magnetic meridian will coincide with true meridian the magnetic meridian will coincide with true meridian right clear so let us move to the next point let us move to the next point right so our next point is this question next point is this question guys please read the question i will read it for you i will read it for you the magnetic bearing of a line is 55 degree 30 minutes right and the magnetic declination is 4 degree 30 minute east the true bearing of the line will be 
the true bearing of the line will be so what will be the value of true bearing so guys this question may sound very simple to you but before solving this question i may tell you certain fundamentals and those fundamentals are like this basically you have to take care about one thing basically that fundamental is this basically always go for the graphical solution some teachers or some may, some books may give you formula for this but there is no requirement of formula let us reduce the load of formula in our life and let us go for the graphical solution and what will be the graphical solution like this guys please remember that true meridian never ever changes with the passage of time true meridian never ever changes with the passage of time so always keep the true meridian as what constant always keep the true meridian as constant now <clears throat> how much is magnetic declination how much is magnetic declination that is 4 degree 30 minute east that is 4 degree 30 minute east so it will be on left hand side or it will be on right hand side guys it will be on right hand side right so this is my magnetic north and this is my angle 4 degree 30 minute east right and what is the magnetic bearing of this line so we may treat the line over here and the magnetic bearing let us assume that the magnetic bearing of this line is 55 degree 30 minute 55 degree 30 minutes so now what is being asked we are being asked to determine the true bearing of the same line so what will be the true bearing very good amanji very good so what will be the true bearing what will be the true bearing amanji you have answered it as d right so let me check what will be the true bearing of this line shall i say the true bearing of this line would be just the sum of this and that will be how much 60 degree so the answer will be what a answer would be a so where was the problem amanji in this where was the problem amanji in this right Amanji, is it clear now? Is it clear? No worries. Let us move to the next topic. Let us move to the next topic. Right? Rather the next question. So this is the question. Magnetic bearing of a line AB is south 30 degree east. If the declination is 6 degree west, what is the true bearing? What is the true bearing? Now, please try this question. Please try this question. So, at first, I will try to draw the true north. I will try to draw the true north, right? And basically, the declination is 6 degree west. So, guys, please remember that declination is always shown with the help of the true north and true magnet uh, sorry the true north and the magnetic north right so it is six degree west so i would rather put it as basically like this right this is my magnetic north so it will be six degree west six degree west now the magnetic bearing of line ab is south 30 degree east it is in quadrantal bearing format it is in quadrantal bearing formats right so this will be my magnetic south magnetic south let us assume this is my line ab this is my line ab and this angle is south 30 degree east south 30 degree east now what is being asked what is being asked the true bearing of this line what is the true bearing of this line so what will be the true bearing of this line can i tell the true bearing of this line will be this angle and this angle is my six degree so the true bearing of this line would be how much south 36 degree east south 36 degree east yes or no did you get this guys 
Did you get this? Is it clear? Did you get this? Right? Is it clear everyone? So what is the answer? A. Very good. What is the answer? A. Clear everyone? Good. Next point. Next question. This is the question. In an old map, in an old map, the line PQ was drawn to magnetic bearing of 6 degree 32 minute. Right? So, old map. The magnetic declination at that time being 1 degree east. 1 degree east. Right? The magnetic bearing at that time being 1 degree east. The present magnetic declination is 9 degree east. The magnetic bearing of the same line would be how much? So guys, this question seems to be very lengthy. But just if I tell you this question is a matter of certain seconds. 10 seconds. I can solve this question in 10 seconds. At the last, I will tell you how to solve this question in 10 seconds. But first, at first, let me solve this question in a complete detailed manner. Right? So basically, I, what I will do, I will divide my this portion to answer in two halves. In two halves, I will divide my this portion. Right? So basically, in one portion, I am making old scenario and present scenario. Right? present scenario so guys in the old scenario how much was declination how much was declination declination was one degree east so this is my true north right this is my magnetic north one degree east and basically the magnetic bearing of this line was six degree 32 minutes, right? 6 degree, 32 minutes. Right? 6 degree, 32 minutes. So, what is the true bearing of this line? What is the true bearing of this line? True bearing of this line will be 7 degree, 32 minutes. Now guys, just for your information that true bearing of this line will never ever with the passage of time. Why? Because neither the true meridian is going to change nor your basically the line is going to get displaced or going to get changed. So the true bearing of the same line would always be what? Constant. Either it is in the old scenario or it is in the present scenario. It will be having the same value. So now if I put it over here. This is my true north, agreed, and my line would remain same. That would be having a true bearing of 7 degree, 7 degree, 32 minutes, right? And in the present scenario, in the present scenario, what is my declination? My declination is 9 degree east. My declination is 9 degree east, right? So this is my magnetic north. This is my magnetic north. So what will be, what will be the magnetic bearing of this line? So guys, we are supposed to give the answer in whole circle bearing. We are supposed to give answer in whole circle bearing because all those bearings which are written over here, these are in whole circle bearing format. And we are aware about the concept that basically in whole circle bearing, the angle is measured in clockwise direction from the north meridian, north side of the reference meridian, right? So basically what will be the value? Can I tell this would be my magnetic bearing and how much it would be? 
how much it would be right how much it would be please let me know how much it would be so can i tell this value would be 9 degree because this value was 9 degree so this value will be how much 9 degree minus 7 degree 32 minute right 9 degree minus 7 degree 32 minute so that will be how much can you can you tell me the value over here Seven degree thirty two minute, right? So how much will be this value? Can you just let me know in the comment box? Will it be one degree twenty eight minute? One degree twenty eight minute, right? So to get the true bearing of the same line, what I suppose what I, to get the magnetic bearing of the same line, what I am supposed to do? what I am supposed to do we we'll just correct this once right so so magnetic bearing of the same line would be how much 360 degree minus 1 degree 28 minute 1 degree 28 minute and how much it will be 1 how much it will be it will be 358 degree 32 minute अच्छा सर समझ नहीं आया चिंता ना करो चिंता ना करो डोंट वरी डोंट वरी समझाऊंगा अभी डोंट वरी डोंट वरी समझा दूंगा डोंट वरी अबाउट इट वैसे ऐसा कुछ था नहीं जो समझ में नहीं आया राइट सो माय आंसर बिकम्स व्हाट बॉम्बे माय आंसर बिकम्स बॉम्बे राइट नाउ गाइस आर यू रेडी टू एब्सॉर्ब द शॉर्ट ट्रिक do you want me to tell you the short trick? वैसे आप ये बताइए कि क्या समझ में नहीं आया? What you did not get? What you did not get? Did you join recently? If you have joined recently, तो समझ में नहीं आएगा. You should have continued this lecture from the starting. Then the absorption would be much better. Are you guys ready to have the short trick? Shall I tell you the short trick? Guys, can you notice that basically previously the magnetic bearing was 6 degree 32 minute and in present it is 358 degree 32 minute. Right? So there is a change in there is a change in magnetic bearing and what is the reason behind the change in magnet, magnetic bearing? Is the line shifting from its place? Is the line changing its direction? Is that the reason? Is that the reason? Line is changing its direction. Is that the reason? The answer is no. Line is not at all changing. What is changing? The something which is getting changed that is what? Magnetic meridian. And if magnetic meridian is changing, what is changing? Declination. So the reason behind this change in magnetic bearing is the change in declination. So guys, the amount of change in declination will result the amount of change in magnetic bearing. So the by amount by which the declination has changed by the same amount, the magnetic bearing would also change. By the same amount, the magnetic bearing would also change. So can you notice over here, basically, how much is the change in declination? The change in declination is 8 degree east. The change in declination is what? 8 degree east. Previously, it was 1 degree east. Thereafter, it was 9 degree east. So there would be the change in magnetic bearing by 8 degree. Right? And basically, previously, 
the value was 6 degree 32 minutes minus 8 degree it would be how much minus 1 degree 28 minutes yes or no minus 1 degree 28 minutes and can I tell that basically this magnetic bearing it's an angle at a point it is the angle of a line at a point so angle of a line at a point can never ever be negative it can never ever be what negative it can never ever be negative so since the angle is negative what to do add 360 degree add 360 degree and you will get 358 degree 32 minutes this is your answer this is your answer but guys please remember that i have subtracted over here and what is the reason behind the subtraction the reason behind the subtraction is basically my declination is towards east side so when the declination is moving towards east side basically there would be reduction in the value of magnetic bearing when the declination will be moving towards west side so we have to add this value we have to add this value so is there any confusion now is there any confusion now is it clear is it clear everyone okay good now guys basically after this you have this question which is for your homework this is your homework question you can post the answer in comment box also in in comment box also right i would reply to those comments and the answer and the solution of this question will be available in my telegram group that is civil by ankit sir civil by ankit sir over there i'll be putting the solution of this right so i guess guys this is all clear with the concept of declination guys you can expect a question on the basis of this definitely in gate exam definitely in the gate exam you can expect a question on the basis of this clear everyone so that's all for today guys that's all for today the concept of declination i have given you and now i'll be meeting you day after tomorrow day after tomorrow perso mulakat hogi will be meeting you day after tomorrow at 3 pm at the same time same place at the same time same place with the concept of with the concept of rise and fall with the concept of rise and fall and that concept is also very important because many guys face issue with the concept of rise and fall and that is also very important from examination point of view so guys that's all for today thank you everyone that's all jai hind over and out from my side